The chariots of fear have been thrown into the sea. And the God of all creation has set us free. Yeah. Repeat this phrase after me. The chariots of fear. The chariots of fear. They're thrown into the sea. The God of all creation has set us free. Let's say it right now. Chariots of fear. They're thrown into the sea.
train leaders in various places around the world about the power of vision, about how people have to know where you're headed for them to buy into the future of your church or your non-for-profit or your university or your company. I remind leaders that they have to fill people's vision buckets up till they're overflowing. And then I remind leaders that everyone's vision bucket leaks. Because people go to their workplaces, they raise their kids, they mow the lawn, they pay their bills. Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks later, they have no vision left. It, it all kind of leaked out. And we as leaders then, we have to refill people's vision buckets so they know where we're going, why we're doing what we're doing. Sitting in this service, I felt this weekend, the same thing holds true for faith. When your faith bucket is filled to the top, you have that sense that with your hand in God, you can face anything. You can face anybody. But everybody's faith bucket leaks. And by Tuesday, you're going to go, what faith? Right? Which is why we encourage you on a daily basis, spend 15 minutes in a chair. Open Bible, little prayer journal, and say, God, fill me up with faith that you're for me today. Fill me up with the faith. Remind me that your hand has hold of mine. And with my hand and yours, we can do anything. And then you go to your small group, and wherever you meet with on a regular basis in some little small group, they help fill your faith bucket. And you come to midweek because sometimes you just run out by midweek and it helps fill your faith bucket and of course you make it an absolute priority to come to weekends where we all gather together and we all get our faith buckets filled back up with tremendous talks. Let's thank Steve Carter again for a fantastic A couple more things real quick and then I'll send you on your way. Uh, because Steve is doing such a great job the last two services. While he was preaching uh, this service, I went through Promised Land and saw hundreds of volunteers taking care of our kids. And I was just going, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of the kids. And I went down to Casa de Luz, our Spanish-speaking ministry, packed over in the chapel. And I thanked the staff there. And I went to Student Impact. Which, is, uh, which are taking, what, 1,900 kids or something like that to a retreat this coming weekend. Pray on your knees, you know, for, for that whole thing. I watched the remaining part of this message on this fabulous new screen out in the atrium. I want to greet all the atrium uh, people out there. I, we don't say hi to you often. I think we ought to greet the whole atrium is filled with people who worship with us. So let's uh, send a greeting. I have to remind, uh, let's see, section 104B. You have, you, have, you have a party, section 105F. It's going to be a fantastic party. And then uh, for some of you, I think you've heard this, uh, the championship game of the World Cup is going to be shown on the, on the uh, big screen out in the atrium area there. I guess that's going to be quite a party too. So lots of fun, lots of things going on. Uh, Thirst Part 3, next weekend. Be there or be square.